Okay, my friends, a shocker du jour time. This is Sabine Hassenfeldler, and she is a very, very well-renowned physicist who has turned against science because of the nature of science now is strictly for funding. It has no interest in real science anymore. And she is going to say exactly how she feels and it's exactly how I feel. Listen to what she says. Contrary to rumors, my biggest worry isn't pineapple on pizza. It's that scientific progress is slowing down and that most of what gets published in academia is now bullshit. I don't blame people for thinking that Sabina is getting a little eccentric in her old days. Maybe they're on to something. Today I want to show you a lot of graphs, because nothing says fun YouTube video like statistical analysis. Then I want to talk about what this might mean, and then I want to hear what you all think about this. At first glance, science seems to be doing exceptionally well. The number of scientists worldwide has increased rapidly and continues to increase. Yeah, this number of scientists, they're not doing any science. That's the problem. You come to them with real science and they dismiss it and destroy you because it destroys their ability to make up things and just make up nonsense. That's the problem with science today. It's, it's completely made up to get funding. Okay, I'm going to make this real simple. This is my atomic theory, is a dipole electron flood theory. It's on the internet, you just have to put dipole electron flood, here you go. It says that every black particle has a white particle to go along with it. And 1839 of these dipoles make up a proton. 1840 of them, which is an even number, make up a neutron. And then they can be smashed to bits and turn into electrons. And we can even turn them into sterile muons and electron showers. All right? So everything that's made is made of these two particles. Every single thing there is. There is nothing that exists that is not made of these two particles. And the two of them, when they get together, they lock together like a bar magnet. And boy, you can't hardly separate those. But when you can, if you can get that white particle away, that's electricity. That's what we did. And we did it for free. So we created electricity for free. And I'll show you that. This is a photon. It's two gluons back to back. I will show you that as well. And what does this mean to physics and to the rest of the world? Well, a lot. Chemistry changes, space, distance, all that stuff changes because the light slows down. The redshift is nonsense. Space, everything in space changes. It's, it, it, now we got some real research and we got some real changes. No more bullshit. Okay, what you have to understand about dipole electron flood theory is that electrons are dipoles and 1840 or so make up one proton. Actually, it's an uneven number, say 1839. Even numbers are neutrons. Now, this is what a Dirac neutrino looks like. Right, it has one white side and one black side. The two together, like this, make up a Dirac neutrino. Well, guess what? That's actually an electron. They call them gluons now. There's a, a white side and a black side together. Now, that's part of my dipole electron flood theory. And these are the smallest particles that exist, these two. And they can be separated, which we did. Now, they also show these Dirac's in a Madrona configuration where they're not really completely black or white, which means they're in their neutrino phase of coming up to a Dirac, which is completely black and white. Because as photons increase in energy, they have a neutrino phase. I think they might call that the tau phase. You see this? This is Don Lincoln. He and I do not get along at all. Here's his standard model, total nonsense, sterile neutrinos. We found them. He's got me blocked from Fermilab. I pay taxes. I should be allowed to speak, and he won't let me speak. He's got me blocked from everywhere. This guy is a real problem. He needs to go. You see this? This is from Don Lincoln. These are the particles that he found. There was a whole big write-up on this. I've been posting for years how I found these particles. Now it's starting to take off. 
he's got it blocked and you can't get to these particles. You should be able to go to this. No, you can't get to it now. You have to be part of Fermilab. They won't let you in to see this information anymore because you're not part of Fermilab. Multiple sign-on delay. You have to go through all this sign-on nonsense to get in here and have passwords and everything else. See it? Before you go right to that page, this is supposed to be open to the public. This is the bullshit science, and this guy is the most bullshitter that is, it lives, and he should be fired instantly. He's got to get out of there. He's the one that's destroyed science. Ten years. Ten years. Don't forget, if you see, these are his particles, exact same particles we found 10 years ago. And here they are right here. Here's his, from his page right here, the black particle and the white particle. And here they are right here. And these are from photons, not from protons. We can see light manifest itself. We see the proton, I mean the photons. We see the dark matter attached to the white matter. They never knew this. This is the whole key to physics right here is that we could separate, we cause fission and we cause fusion. And this right here is raw electricity. This has no weight whatsoever and has all the energy. The black has all the weight and none of the energy. And this is what they found. He's, I'm, I'm stating exactly what he said. Only we did it elegantly by putting it through a Venturi. We accelerated light, not allowed. Don Lincoln has me blocked. It's an absolute disgrace to science and to the United States. He is the most disgraceful person in the United States at this moment. Not only can we see the light start to manifest itself and start to accelerate, we can see all the other particles in the air being disturbed from this wave caused by a particle. The field surrounds the particle, and the field has no mass. I cannot explain that, but it has no mass, but a hell of a lot of energy. And a particle is in the center. Particle wave duality explained. Now, as that wave comes down, it begins to accelerate because there's a Venturi here. Fully understood Venturi accelerates. The particle becomes visible, explodes right here. And when I say explodes, this is a subatomic nuclear explosion. We're smaller than atoms. So what we're doing is breaking light. And we broke it in half. And here it is right here. There's the dark, sterile muon, which they've been looking for. And here is the white pure white electron showers, and here they come back together. Fission, fusion. This is the holy grail of physics, and I am not allowed to comment anywhere. I am completely locked out of physics. I have shown the photons. Here they are in the neutrino phase, and here they are in the photon phase. Not only is the red one seen just before it hits the venturi, but the same thing with the green. The green's the same particle. It just goes faster. It's spinning much faster. And that I can prove as well. I can prove every word I'm saying. Here's the green coming through very fast, reconcussing out here. The red is just getting pushed out of the way. Still the same particle. These are the photons. Same particle. It's just pushing the red right out of the way because the red has no energy compared to the, to the green. The green is very powerful. And light spins. Light doesn't flap like a wave, it spins in a circle. Just like this. Just like this. When it comes through here, it comes like that way, and some come over this way, and some come over that way, but the key is that particle will not stay next to another white particle. They push each other away. That's why you get all these, what they call interference. They think they're flapping this way or that way. They're sort of going in a circle. I have shown this, I'm not guessing. All we get from physicists now is guesses and bullshit. She is right. And here, look at this. This is Fermilab. We spent billions and billions, probably trillions of dollars over there to get this kind of nonsense as their Higgs patterns. You want to see Higgs? I'll show you some Higgs. There's some Higgs. <laughs> that right there is pure white raw electron showers and for, they meet up with the black particles and turn into Higgs fields. As they see this little shoot here, zip, it's turned into a field. They do that. They hit the thing and they turn into the fields. It's what I'm seeing and I have seen things that nobody else has seen. Nobody. 
like this. You see that? These are the normal fields. This is a reverse spinner and it hooked up with a normal spinner and it ripped the particle right off the side of it. Blue is a rocket ship. This is just the, this, the light is accelerating. This is everything that they have said in physics is wrong. Literally everything, totally wrong. Not only that, we can see with the cell phones the universe. I can say that these are all fields in space. That's the, that's the moon. These are all fields in space. They have no clue about this. These are all dipoles. Why we have such incompetent people is because of people like Don Lincoln who have destroyed physics and he is an absolute disgrace to science. Absolute disgrace. Now if you look up electron showers, they're supposed to be at least 200 times increase in energy. So if we took our laser and we shot it through that venture and we put a harvester right here, we're collecting all that white energy. This is the laser, black and white, bam, 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 bam. The black can't get through, bam, bam, bam. It says, I can't get through. So who cares? We're getting through, we're the white. On the other side, you pick it up and send it through a photodiode into your harvester, that's all, and then you use that electricity. We should be able to walk around with a box like this. Walk around, carry electricity anywhere you want. Have as much electricity come out of that box basically as you want. You could have thousands and thousands of those lasers in that box, producing thousands and thousands of cones of white electricity. That is electricity. That has no weight whatsoever, and if you fill your car up with electricity, it will not gain any weight whatsoever. It'll drive 500 pounds, it won't lose any weight. You fill it back up with electricity, it doesn't gain any weight. What happened? It used this, which has no weight whatsoever. And it has all the energy, and I can prove that on top of this. Okay, I say I can prove what I'm talking about. Here's what I'm talking about. This is an atomic bomb blast. The atomic bomb just went off. I stopped the, the video. What do you see? You see pure white radiation. There's poles back here. There's wires back here. There's a house here. You won't see anything move. The atomic bomb just went off. And all you have now is the white particles burning everything. They will not move anything at all. You watch this. This is in slow motion. Look, you see, it's just burning. There is no movement of anything. Nothing has pushed. Wires are burning. Poles are burning. The shingles are burning. The facade of the house. Wherever the light is hitting head on, the side is not burning up. Metal doesn't burn. But anything that can absorb the white particles, the electrons, will combust. And this is what's happening. Now watch what happens. I'm doing this slowly and I'm going to stop here and there. It's just smoking, just smoking, just smoking, just smoking. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Not a single thing has moved. The wires are all burning. The poles are burning. The house, the shingles, the, everything is being consumed by the white particles and there is no movement. What does that tell you? It tells me there's no mass. Mass would push that. There is no mass, there is only energy. And then what happens? The mass comes. And why does the mass come second? Because it's inside the white particles. Boom, there's the mass. All right, there's the two separate things. Now watch, it'll turn around and come back because there's a void back here. It has to come back to fill that void. You see that? That's what's happening. Now you see that? This right here is the Venturi. This causes the subatomic nuclear explosion. The black and the white separate. Well, what happened here? We let a little bit of the black through. The little bit of the black is right here. And it pushed the white ahead of it, which is exactly what happened in that atomic bomb blast. The wall of brilliant went off, and we see all that white light go, and then all of a sudden we see the house starting to burn and burn and burn and burn and burn and burn and burn, and all of a sudden, pow! because the black comes. That's because the black is inside the white. All right, Russia's talking about using nuclear weapons. I think we should understand what, how they work. You get to a size of a mass that's so heavy and big and dense that it's just about ready to fall apart already.
Then you surround it with all kinds of extremely strong high explosives forcing it inwards and it compresses all the dark matter into the center and the white particles and then they just bounce back out. That's what a nuclear explosion is, it's a bounce back from the implosion. So they implode and it explodes. Just look it up, very simple. All right, I'm going to leave it at this, but I'd love to hear from Sabine. Somebody's going to have to straighten this out because it is all bullshit. Not 100% of what they're saying is just nonsense. And they will stop anybody like me from saying things who has physical evidence. If you have evidence, you're out of the game now. It's a disaster and it's a disgrace. And Fermilab is the biggest disgrace on planet Earth right now.